Hey, you beautiful people. I am making coffee. Well, a lot of people are confused about the different varieties of coffees, of course. Now, there's an espresso, there's a latte, there's a cappuccino and so many more. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a latte at home and of course, I'm also going to talk about the different types of coffees. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varnin Amdar and welcome to Raj Report. Let's begin with latte at home. The first thing for a good quality coffee is always getting the decoction correct. Now this is a decoction that I'm making espresso style. What am I doing? I have taken equal quantities of water, coffee powder and sugar. Very, very, very important. In this case, now I'm adding sugar. Sugar is something that can be completely omitted because of course we all take different kinds of sugars and we all have our own personal takes on sugar. So I'm taking equal quantities of water, instant coffee for this case and sugar. Everything equal. Now the moment you add in coffee, you'll realize, see and notice that the water actually develops a little bit of creaminess and which is very important in getting your espresso correct. It's not an espresso, it is an espresso. Please remember that because everybody across the globe goes wrong in calling it an espresso. Now, boil it nicely, say for a 30-40 second, enough time and with this off goes the flame. Very important because you're not here to make a kadha as we call it. A kadha or a decoction is something that you boil over a certain amount of time, you reduce it and you make it nice and intense. In this case, all you need is a good quality coffee and that's about it. Now to this, I'm adding in sugar. And with this, your decoction is ready. You need to stir this well and ensure that this mixture or this decoction remains nice and hot. So let's go to the next step and that is heating the milk. Now this is full fat milk of course. Espresso, like I'm saying again, it's a mixture of water and coffee. Generally equal quantities is like what is followed everywhere in most restaurants. Talking about a latte, what is a latte? It is two portions of espresso. It has got steamed milk and it's got very little bit of milk foam. Cappuccino, which is the third variety of coffee that I would love to speak about, is even distribution of all three. It's equal quantities of the decoction, steamed milk and foam. So it's built literally even. Evenly distributed is what technically you can call it. Now generally when I order cappuccino, I like it a little stronger. That's the reason why I always order for a little bit of extra espresso because like I like it that way. What's important is to get the temperature of the milk correct. Now I know, matter of fact, most restaurants or most cafes or, or most trattorias uh, do not serve coffee at the right temperature and that's where most of the guest complaints come in from. Always important to warm the decoction, warm the milk and also warm the cup. Now cups of course can be warmed in different ways. You can dip it in hot water, wipe it and that's about it. You can also put it in a microwave and just microwave it for 10 seconds so that the cup warms up. Because what happens is you may serve the best of coffees. It could be the warmest, it could be the hottest. But the moment it hits a cold cup, the temperature drops and that's where most of the complaints come in. So remember that. The milk has perfectly heated up. It's risen to the top and that's what we're looking at. The next step is to, of course, start building the coffee in a mug. If you take this cup, this could take, say, espresso, this could take steamed milk and this could take the foam. And that is if you're making a cappuccino. When I'm making a latte, I'm taking two parts of espresso and I'm taking steamed milk with just a little bit of foam on top. So you need to choose the cup rightly, which is very important. Now, of course, this is a warm cup. To this, I'm adding in our decoction and this decoction, mind you, already has the sugar. So two parts of espresso, which is the sweet espresso in this case. And to this, I'm adding in milk. Now this is of course, hot milk. Now if you notice, I'm leaving a little space on top and that space is for the foam. Now how do you make foam at home? Very simple, you need a stick blender. If you do not have this, you can also do it with a whisk. That's as simple as that. Of course, it takes a little longer, but the job will be done. 
With this, the milk foam is done and ready. Now, very carefully lift a little bit of foam and you literally lace it on top of the coffee, which is done and ready. With this, your latte at home is done and ready. And like if you see, you can make coffees at home, especially when this is a time when restaurants are shut, cafes are shut. Latte at home would just be perfect. For more such stunning vegetarian recipes, stay tuned to Rajshri Food. Bye for now. And there you have latte at home in just a few minutes. With this, your cafe latte at home is done and ready. Why are you seeing this? Tell me. No, I'm saying it. On that note, for more such...